Hey, what up guys, how's it going? I got something kind of cool here. Just came from UPS and uh, it's finally here. This is the brand new Swagtron Swagger Elite SG5 Folding Electric Scooter. Yeah, and it retails for uh, $410 on their site, but right now it's on sale for $399. But at the time of this recording, if you go to their site right now, they have a coupon for $40 off. So that's pretty cool, so even cheaper. Now you guys already know I have an e-bike by Swagtron. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I did a video on it and um, uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can see that uh, unboxing and review as well. So I was thinking about getting an e-bike so I went and got this one from Swagtron and uh, yeah, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna get into it and check it out. Uh, it looks cool, I like the design and uh, I was looking for something that um, is a scooter that I could fold up. I can get on mass transit at my job where I work. Uh, we have a parking garage, but the actual building is a little bit of a distance. So now I could just take this out of my trunk and just ride it on in and then leave it under my desk in my office, whatever. So if you're at a dormitory, college campus, uh, you just wanna be that urban commuter, whether you're taking mass transit or anything like that, just zipping around the city, or you just wanna have fun, or this could be a Christmas gift. I think this is for you. So uh, I'm gonna stop talking, we're gonna unbox it, then I'm gonna ride it for uh, a little bit and let you know my thoughts and impressions and all that stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the garage, we're gonna unbox it and see what it looks like. Light us. All right, so here we are in the garage. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Swag drop. All right, got my box cutter here. All right, let's go ahead and flip this over. Okay, so here it is out of the box. Swagger SG5 folding electric scooter. Oh yeah, don't forget the app. It's connected via Bluetooth. Ride smart beyond. And uh, yeah, like I said, um, Max speed is 18 miles an hour. Max range, they're saying 18.6. I think that's if you have it at the lower speed. If you have it all the way up to uh, the fastest mode, which I think is three, because there's three settings, and you're going all the way 18 miles an hour, you'll probably only get 11 miles. If you go slower, you'll get 18 miles, 18.6 range. Uh, this supports up to 320 pounds, and the weight of the unit itself 26 pounds. Not heavy at all. One handed. You do that one handed. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here is charging the cable. All right. Nice. And we got some foam here. Look like the grips. Oh, these are screwing. All right. Super excited. All right. And uh, yeah, more foam. See the e scooter. Let's pull it on out. All right. Okay, and there's a kickstand. Awesome. Push that forward, lock it in. Okay, let's put on the handlebars. Foam. And also these are labeled on the inside of here. Right here, there's an L for left, and on the other one there's an R for right. Okay, screw this in. And now we'll do the same on the right hand side here. Just so you can see, here's the R right here. And you want to remove this tape. They tell you attention. So they want to make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, go ahead and 
put this in. Okay, so this came with a few other things. Let's go ahead and look. So inside, they also include like a uh, water bottle holder, which is pretty cool. I'm guessing you go ahead and clamp that right on here and then tighten it up. That was actually nice, very thoughtful. Good idea. Uh, let's see what's in here. A mount for your cell phone. That way you can keep a track of your distance, speed, all that stuff. Or just in general, and that would go right on your handlebars for your cell phone. It's pretty cool. Well, all right. And I believe they got warranty information. All right, and they got happy. Happy? Of course we're happy. User manual. Okay, now they have Allen keys here so you could tighten up your stuff and we also got to tighten up the uh, brake lever here. So that's cool that they give you Allen keys for that. Oh, nice. Valve extender. So since these are pneumatic, which means air-filled, since these are air-filled tires, uh, in case your pump has difficulty getting to it, they have a valve extender. So you can go ahead and put this on and then put your um, pump on there and then you're good to go. It's actually very nice that they included it. Okay, so now that we have everything out, let's go ahead and uh, tighten up our um, brake lever here. Okay, so I have this at the desired level I want, so about right there. And then with the Allen key, I'm just gonna go under here and uh, tighten it up. Okay, that looks about good, nice and tight. And the bell isn't um, obstructed at all. On the power pack itself, um, there's an LED light. So what happens is when you plug it in and charge it, it's red. When it's done charging, it's green. Now from zero to 100%, it should take it about three and a half hours. Once it's done charging, unplug it. Also, uh, never try to use it while it's plugged in. That's a big no-no. Never do that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and let it charge and then come right back and get a close-up view of everything on the e-scooter here so you could see it and then I'm gonna go ahead and try it out for a couple hours. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back. Okay, so we're all done charging. It's uh, ready to go and um, yeah, not too bad. I just wanna give you a closer view of the e-scooter. So right here is your throttle. Here's a better look at your super cool bell. Brake. This is not your cell phone holder. This actually clips in on the rear of the e-scooter and that's how it latches when you uh, fold it. Here are the nice, super cool rubber grips. Okay, so here is your uh, battery level here. These numbers indicate your um, miles per hour. The blinking blue light, that is for um, the Bluetooth. It'll go solid once it's paired with your smartphone. Now to get the LED headlight to work, it's actually very bright. You wanna press this twice and you'll hear the confirmation. When you hear it like that, beep, beep, that, that way you know you've pressed it twice and you can see the bright light is there. Then press it twice to turn it off. And now it's off. That's just the sunlight behind me there. And to switch between the riding speeds, you just press one time there, let you know you're on three, which is the fastest, which will uh, allow you to go to 18 miles per hour. Two, I believe that's only up to 10 miles an hour. And one, that is only up to five miles an hour. Now I'll go ahead and hold it down continuously to power it off. So now let's take a look at the app and let's go ahead and pair the e-scooter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and download the Swagger 5 app. So after you register, create your account, make sure you turn Bluetooth on and you're within range of the uh, e-scooter. And then it's gonna go ahead and search and find it and connect to it. Okay, now we are within the app and you're all ready to go. So this is perfect if you have the um, cell phone mount and you mount it on there 
and while you're riding you could see all this you can see your speed how long the trip is uh, select with gear if you like if it's easier for you from here also at the very top up here you could also cut on the headlight how cool is that from the app it really just cut it off and on that's cool um, yeah you could do that instead of pressing the button it might be a little easier for you while you're riding so you could choose a path it'll use GPS from your phone locate your area and you could see the path and everything that you traveled it's actually very cool so uh, we go into the settings here slide and go that means the motor will start after a certain um, after it gets to 3.5 miles per hour that's up to you automatic cruise control status maintain the same speed after about five seconds to activate cruise control so cruise control is not enabled automatically you have to go ahead and turn it on here and once you are at that speed for five seconds it will automatically keep it there that's great for long distances uh, automatic power off after five minutes that's perfect for me but you can go ahead and adjust that if you like battery tracker and units of measurement if you want uh, if you want metric units or imperial so here's the app it's all good I'm ready to go all right so the app is all set up ready to go ready to ride I'm gonna have some fun with it right now don't forget you can get an additional $40 off the $399 if you order now and that's not too bad normally it's four hundred and ten dollars so you could essentially get it for three hundred and sixty right now and they have free shipping so pretty cool uh, let me just show you guys how it folds and unfolds again just really quick and then uh, I'm gonna have some fun on the bike okay let me just show you how to fold this really quick so there's like a uh, collar right here so you want to slide that okay so you pull down on the lever here and then now that piece clicks in on the back of the e-scooter and you're rocking and rolling. You're good to go. It's not bad, only 26 pounds. It's actually pretty light. And then you go ahead and push there. That unlocks it. Get it upright, click that in, and then slide back in the collar there to go ahead and lock it in place and you're rocking and rolling okay now I'm gonna come in a little closer and take a better um, look at it so you could just see how super cool it is mm -hmm. 